Hello everyone. I never got a chance to do a full you know, speed comparison between iOS between iOS 18.1 and iOS 17, but I'm going to do it. I have an iPhone 13 and a 13 mini. They both have the same internals and chipsets and everything like that. My iPhone 13 on the right is basically on iOS 18.1. The one on the left is on iOS 17.7.1, whatever the latest one is available. So let's go and do a speed comparison. Let's go and load up some applications, phone calls 321. And basically, I just want to see what the speed difference is. Music 321, they're both, you know, fairly factory reset too, so it's not like I've been using one way longer than the other one. Both have the same types of, you know, News 321, they both have the same types of applications installed as well. So far, we're not really seeing anything super insane or super different. So this one, definitely 18, uh, was definitely faster there. Camera 321. Okay, we'll set this one up later. That one's kind of a wash. Photos 321. Okay, not too many differences here either, and boy do I miss this older camera application that we had here. Hopping out of here, calendar, three, two, one. Okay, about the same thing. Notes, three, two, one. Okay, 18 slightly faster. Clock, three, two, one. A little bit of a delay on the 18, but not anything crazy. App Store, three, two, one. Okay, a little bit of a pop-up here. So you can see right here, like the pop-ups are the annoying thing because you can never really control those because they can just randomly come up. But you can restart it if you want to a couple of times. Scrolling through basically the same thing. There really wasn't anything super insane there. Hopping out of both of these. Settings 321. Okay, 17 I think was the faster one there. We do have some other applications that we can test out as well. Let's do Facebook 321. And the left side definitely iOS 17.7.1 was faster there for sure. Netflix 321. And I think 17.7 .7 was faster there as well. Thank you, 321. And again, 17.7 .7 was the faster one there as well. So you can see right here, that was another pretty big difference. Snake versus blocks, 321. And you can see right here, so this one again on the left side, I think was the faster one. So far, that's kind of what we're seeing, that the older 17.7.1 .7 is giving us a little bit of a smooth, like a faster experience slightly, but it's ever so slight. Spotify 321. And this one on the left, definitely faster. iOS 18.1, definitely a little bit slower. Snapchat 321. Okay, definitely 17.7.1, .7 I think. Temple Run 2, 321. Now this is a bigger game. It's also a very fun one to test because it's such a, you know, it's a bigger game to kind of test out overall. So you can see with this one, let's see what the differences are. And again, you can see on the left side, 17.7.1 .7 was the faster one here as well. So that's just another kind of interesting thing that ends up happening here that you're basically going through here without having to, you know, you're just getting a faster phone, it seems like, on the older version. However, when I clicked play, it did look like it clicked faster on this one than this one. But at least the app opening is faster still on iOS 17. That will probably get better over time. Subway Surfers 3, 2, 1. This will be the last one we test. So just from the basic applications that we tested, that's the first thing that I did notice. That overall on iOS 17.7.1, .7 it looks to me that that's still the faster version of software here. And if you're going to go through and upgrade your phone to iOS 18, you know, even on 18.1, it may not be a faster experience. There's definitely going to be some more glitches here and there. 17 is not perfect either. But that is kind of the big thing I did notice there. So if you're looking at it from that side, that is kind of the big thing you're going to notice in my personal opinion. So overall, I think definitely if you're going on iOS 18, it's definitely going to be a faster experience on the iOS 17 device than on iOS 18, at least on the iPhone 13 that I can test out. So from that side, that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.